Saved by each other's kidneys, these two families met for the first time following a successful transplant weeks before. Jesus, sir? Yeah. That's it. Danny Morin, husband of Anna, gave his kidney to Jesus Verdusco, and Jesus' brother Billy gave his kidney to Danny's wife, Anna. But it was not supposed to be that way at first. The Morin family from the Coachella Valley found out that Anna's kidneys were failing in 2012. One day, Anna and her co-workers were taking turns on a blood pressure machine at work, and she noticed her numbers were extremely high. After a trip to the doctor, she was shocked to find out her kidneys were failing. You know, when you hear that, it's devastating. Like, you're like, what? How? Like, there was no symptoms. Like, I would have never known. Two years later, she was put on dialysis and placed on the kidney transplant registry list. Four years later, her and her husband would learn that he was a match for her. We're so excited and we were just couldn't, we were in awe too. It's, it's like such a miracle. We're not family, but yet he's still my match, my husband, you know. The couple was all set for the kidney transplant until coordinators from the Loma Linda University Health Living Kidney Donor Program told them that on the other side of the Inland Empire was another family in need. The Verdusco family from Colton was looking for a donor. Jesus began his search for a match after he too was shocked to learn his health was deteriorating. The father of three was going in for a routine eye appointment in 2016. The technician saw behind his eyes that his blood pressure was high. And she was like, that's really high. You can have a stroke or a heart attack any second. I was like, really? You know, like, I just went to work yesterday and everything's all right. After a doctor's visit, it was confirmed that like Anna, his kidneys were failing. After two years of dialysis and several family members stepping up and not being a match, his mother reached out to his brother, who was in the Marines stationed in Japan. His brother Billy quickly offered his kidney and chose to leave the Marines. I guess the goal was just to get him a kidney. Unfortunately, Billy was not a match. In hopes of finding a match for Jesus, coordinators at Loma Linda made Danny an offer. He could continue with only donating his kidney to his wife or help another patient in need. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. But after much prayer, it was clear what he had to do. If this is what God has for us, then who am I to question it? Dr. DeVere says this is exactly what the Living Kidney Donor Program is about, helping those who may not have been saved otherwise. The wait times here in Southern California for a kidney is the longest in the country. So... Uh, we, we try to do everything to get patients transplanted faster. This life-saving opportunity has left both recipients grateful. Once strangers, now family, united through a kidney exchange.